I'm going to show you how I reanimated a teapot 10 scene with a 2 plush. Let's get into it. First, I went outside with my 2 plush and pillow pillow. Then I recorded myself moving around the 2 plush to the audio, which I played separately out of my iPad. When I finished that, the first thing I did was animate 2's face. I took a close-up picture of the plush face, then I drew a similar face over it. Well, I used a circle tool for the eye whites. I also took a screenshot of the video since 2 was in different lighting, and I used an eyedropper tool to try and replicate the lighting from the video. I had to change this later in the process. That is so sweet! You did the surprise like pillow! Oh my gosh! I love it so sweet! <laughs> I love it! Ah! I animated the mouth smoothly but not the eyes for some reason, but it didn't really matter because 2's moving around so frantically you can't see it. Then I pulled the original footage into Adobe After Effects and clicked the track motion button. Then when the program took me to a separate tab, I went to the track type dropdown that said transform and changed it to perspective corner pin. That way I could really make it look like the animated face was moving along with the plushie. Next I put each tracker onto a part of 2's face. Usually when you track something in After Effects, the software does it for you when you click this play button. But then this happened. Afterwards, I tried making the tracker search regions and the feature regions bigger and hoped they would work better, and they didn't. <laughs> As I was making this video, I read on BorisFX.com that you can track things better by making the feature region as tight as possible to the object you're following, and by making the search region bigger, and so I tried that out and it didn't work either. <laughs> Maybe I just needed better lighting, so I'll probably do that next time I make something like this. Unfortunately, because the automatic tracking wasn't working, I had to manually do it using keyframes, which made tracking the face one of the most time-consuming parts of the project. Don't get discouraged by this if you want to do it yourself, though. I made a test video before this one where After Effects automatically tracked 2's face for me, and it didn't take as much time to do. I didn't finish it, though, because I was just testing the tracking. Later, I added the animation as a separate layer, with the animation layer being on top of the footage later. Then in the tab where I added the tracking to the footage, I clicked on the edit target button and selected the layer with the face animation, then clicked OK. This makes it so the animation shows up on the plushie. I also had to resize the animation, added a feather mask so it blended into the plushie, and added brightness and contrast. Speaking of brightness and contrast, I had to frequently change that along with hue and saturation to match the lighting of the plushie, which was also very tedious. I pre-compiled the animation to give it two layers so I could have two different levels of lighting on Two's face. I was able to do this using masking, and I also had different brightness and contrast settings for each layer and I changed all of it throughout the video using keyframes. And after that really long process that probably took me a week, I'm not counting, here's the final product. That is so sweet! You did the surprise like pillow! Oh my gosh, I love it so sweet! <laughs> I love it! Ah! Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!